Hey guys, it's your mind is Jess here, back with another video, and today we're gonna be talking about how to use Fraps. Now, I think Fraps is actually one of the best um, screen recorders for new YouTubers. Um, it's so, so simple, um, and it's just really, really um, user-friendly. So let's hop into it. So when you open up Fraps, this is what you'll see. You'll see uh, four tabs, and that's it. So uh, I'm just gonna run you through the tabs and then we can talk about um, some of the more uh, advanced things. So in this tab, you have start fry, fraps minimized. Um, what that basically does is it'll start it like this when you launch it. Um, that's basically if you're just gonna use the shortcuts. Then you have a uh, fraps window always on top. Again, that's pretty self-explanatory. And um, it'll always keep the window on top. Run fraps when window starts. I never recommend putting this on um, it just makes your boot time slower if you have a lot of things booting and it's just not worth it. You can open Fraps when you want to use it, it's not like it's a big program. Uh, and then minimize to system tray only. What this basically means is it'll just keep it down here. Then there's the FPS tab. Now this is another great uh, reason why people use Fraps. Um, it's for the FPS tracking. Now some games do offer FPS tracking, some don't. Um, so having Fraps to be able to tell you what your FPS is, is really useful. Um, this is for benchmarking, so it's where it'll save the benchmarks. Then this is the benchmarking hotkey. Benchmark settings is what it'll benchmark. And stop benchmark after however many seconds you want there. Then this is the FPS overlay. So if I turn this on and put it in the top right corner, you can see on my uh, desktop I'm apparently getting 24 FPS. Um, but obviously I just can't measure it. So um, then that's basically all this. Uh, then movies, you might get this. So if you click on movies, it might say uh, the current video player uh, is not compatible with custom codecs like the one Frap use. Please use another video player. So you might get this depending on what video player you have. So all you need to do is change it to another one you have and um, that is compatible and then it should fix it. So now that we're talking about here, what we see is um, where to save movies, so this is your recording, what hotkey you want to record movies, um, so it's default on F9, what FPS you want, so again, um, 30 FPS is standard, you can go for 60 FPS if you want, but it's up to you. If you're recording long gameplays, you can split movie every 4 gigabytes. This means you won't have a huge file to load into your rendering program and it, uh, editing program there. And it's really, really useful. I like this um, split a lot for when I'm doing long gameplays. Uh, so I can just kind of break it up and load in chunks at a time rather than one whole thing. Then over here we have record Windows 10 sound. So that is basically record your um, what your PC is doing. So if you're playing a game, it'll record the volume for that. Uh, then you have record external input, so this is where you would put your microphone. Um, and then you can hide your cursor, lock frame rate, and force lo uh, lossless RGB capture. Um, all of these are pretty self-explanatory as well. Hide mouse cursor, obviously hide your mouse cursor. Lock frame rate, uh, ro locks your frame rate. And then forcing lossless RGB capture, you don't really need to worry about um, if you're doing gameplays and things like that. Then screenshots uh, is just for screenshots, uh, F10 by default, image formats there, whatever you want. I personally recommend BMP or JPEG or PNG depending on what uh, screenshots you need, but um, it doesn't really matter again. And then you can include the frame rate overlay. So say if you're doing blog posts or something um, and you want to talk about how many frames you got in a specific game, you can capture that as well. And then um, you can do uh, repeat screenshots. So say if you're in a zone and you want to take a lot of different screenshots, you can take a screenshot every 15 or so seconds, um, but just remember to press uh, F10 again or whatever hotkey you have. Otherwise you will be endlessly taking screenshots. Then you have the help tab up here, which will basically just take you to the Fraps website. Um, and it'll tell you about the specific tab you're in. So if you want to read up more, you can do that. But that's basically everything for Fraps, so now I'll just um, record a quick uh, thing with Fraps. And now you can see that our FPS turns red. This basically means that we are recording. 
Um, so now we're going to hit F9 again. It'll go and we'll stop recording. And then if we go to our C drive, looped in Fraps and went to Movies, we would have it there. But this is everything um, in Fraps covered. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you're new. It's absolutely free and it means a lot to me. Any anyway, guys, till next time, I'll see you soon.